this video, we will discuss the short sale. How the investor sells a stock short, the risks involved in this type of transaction, along with the benefits received from short selling. The term short sale means the selling of a stock that an investor does not already own. A short sale is the sale of a security that isn't owned by the seller, but that is promised to be delivered at some time in the future. So how do you transact a short sale? When you short sell a stock, your broker will lend the stock to you. The stock will come from the brokerage's own inventory, from another one of the firm's customers, or from another brokerage firm. The shares are sold and the proceeds are credited to your account. To close your position, you will need to purchase back the same number of shares, which is called covering, and return them to your broker. If the price drops, you can buy back the stock at a lower price and make a profit on the difference. So if you sold a stock short at this level, if the market goes down, you will cover with a profit and make money. If you sell a stock short at this level and the market goes up, you will cover with a loss and lose money. When an investor sells a stock short, he can hold the position as long as he wants. There are a few factors that might change during the course of holding this short position. The interest that is charged on the margin account can increase or decrease, but if it increases, keeping a short sale open for a long time will cost more. Additionally, you can be forced to cover if the lender wants the stock you borrowed back. Brokerages can't sell what they don't have, so yours will either have to come up with new shares to borrow, or you'll have to cover your shorts. This is known as being called away. It doesn't happen often, but is possible if many investors are short selling a particular security. Because you don't own the stock you're short selling, you must pay the lender of the stock any dividends. Because you don't own the stock you're short selling, you must pay the lender of the short any dividends declared during the course of the loan. If the stock splits during the course of your short, you will owe twice the number of shares at half the price. Why do investors short stock? Some use shorting to speculate, while others use the process for hedging. When you speculate, you are watching for fluctuations in the market in order to quickly make a big profit on an investment. Speculation has been perceived negatively because it has been linked to gambling. However, speculation involves calculated assessments of markets and taking risks where the odds appear to be in your favor. Speculating differs from hedging because speculators deliberately assume risk, whereas hedgers seek to mitigate or reduce risk. There are a few reasons investors short stock. The first is purely speculation, but that can be Speculators can assume a high loss if they use the wrong strategies at the wrong time, but they can also see high rewards. Speculators can benefit the, speculators can benefit the market because they increase trading volume, assume risk, and add to market liquidity. The majority of investors who use short sales to hedge their exposure to the equity markets. 
The majority of investors use short sales to hedge their exposure to the equity markets. This means they are protecting other long positions with offsetting short positions. Hedging can be a benefit because you're insuring your stocks against downside risk, but it also can be expensive and there is a basis risk. This means that even though you believe you are hedged, the portfolio has relative stock risk. For example, if you are for example, if you hedge a large portfolio with the S&P 500 index, there could be a difference between the movements of your portfolio as a whole and the index. Many restrictions have been put in place on the size, price, and types of stock traders are able to short sell. For example, penny stocks cannot be short sold, and most short sales need to be done in round lots. The SEC has these restrictions in place to prevent manipulation of stock prices. As of January 2005, as of January 2005, short sellers were also required to comply with the rules set in place to modernize the rules overseeing short selling and aimed at providing safeguards against naked short selling. This means you are not borrowing the stock before you just sell it. Short selling can be very risky. When you short sell, your losses can be infinite. A short sale losses when the stock price rises and the stock is not limited to how high it can go. Short selling can be very risky. When you sell short, your losses can be infinite. On the other hand, a stock is bounded on the downside by zero. Short selling involves using borrowed money. This is known as margin trading. When you short, you open a margin. This is known as margin trading. When participating in short selling, you open a margin account, which allows you to borrow money from the brokerage firm using your investment as collateral. This is similar to when you go long on margin. It's easy for losses to get out of hand because you must meet the minimum maintenance requirements of 25% of your notional value. If your account slips below this, you will be subject to a margin call and you will be forced to put in more cash or liquidate your position. Before setting up an account to short trade stocks, an investor should undertake the essential research needed to understand the risks, costs, and ramifications of short selling.